Slowly now. You've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future. Both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titan. You there! We are escaping! Let me open your door. <laughs> That's it! Quickly! You must escape before the guards return! Quickly! Follow the scene. There are weapons in the forge beyond these cells. Arm yourself. Something to defend yourself from the rats. Don't be greedy. We have a lot of prisoners to arm. Decision becomes decision. Another enemy blocks the path ahead. Dispatch it quickly. You've got more meat on your bone. A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. The Prophet. He spoke to you? What did- Ha. That sounds like the Prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp in this place. We made it. Come, 
The Sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a magical construct created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We must get to the Prophet's cell. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! Destroying the Sentinel, Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. One fine day in the middle of 